No, Sorry. it's can't be too late. I need. Okay, yeah. listen, I'm ill. I have a. Dude, I forget that like British television is insane. Don't they have like a rich go skint or something? Like, isn't that like a British show where they put like rich people in the conditions that the poor's have to withstand? The pools, the absolute poor, dastardly conditions. Oh, I would never. Oh no. Oh no. I would never do that. Do such a thing. An appointment tomorrow to, to oh, the, the hospital. I can't. I can't we miss can't. it. No, it's at seven thirty-five. It's seven right. o'clock. Don't Shh. tell me. It's Immediately, I have to side with her. Cute accent. Sorry. Too late. Hello and welcome to another episode of Airline UK Freakouts. To start us off, we've got the best freakout since the big French terrorist and her cat from episode one. Look at this. I'm a big terrorist with my cat. French student Sonia Warre is heading for Paris. Earlier this morning, she went to Heathrow by mistake. She's just spent £50 on a taxi fare to get to Luton, but could still miss her flight. <sighs> is Nice any good to you? Nice, I'm living in Paris! <sighs> OK, when, when you've calmed down, I'm, I'm happy to talk to you. 7.35, please, it's not too we late! It is too I late. Can't. I can get I can get you to me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm siding with her once again. How dare he? Peace or Paris in the morning. I can't. I have to go now. You don't understand. I mean, I have See, to go to the field at nine o'clock. There's nothing else that we can do for you. Did go ahead. Did you play it or not? Tell me yes they or not. Very boarded. The aircraft's on schedule. Seven thirty-five. If you if you join the queue and then we transfer no, you. No, you look. You you are wasting my time. And the poor girl still thinks she has a chance of getting on that plane. Obviously hasn't been watching these clips beforehand. Must not air in. There's a show where white people live in a Muslim house? What? <laughs> also, what is your name, bro? Hakeem But This is someone who changed their name. It must be. 17 month subscriber. And my man's name is Hakeem But what was your OG name, dude? That's my real name. Wait, your real name is Hakeem Butt? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. I'm not bullying him. That's funny. Oh no. Dude, I hope you're not mad at me. I'm sorry. That's awesome. What's the, what is, like, what language? Because it can't be English, right? What? But is a cast in South Asia? Oh, you're Pakistani? <laughs> I don't think he likes that I laughed at his last name. I'm sorry, man. Okay, okay, to make it up to you, no, it's funny. Okay, Hakeem, to, to make it up to you, you can send me the fucking white people live with a, <laughs> white people live with a Muslim uh, video and we'll watch it, okay? Nice. It, it doesn't fly yet, so I just f***ed my pussy. You're not gonna get that play now, I'm sorry. Unlucky. One moment. The waterworks aren't having any effect on EasyJet supervisor Leo Jones. It's not, too late. it's not even but, it's bahat. <laughs> to make it up to you, you can send me content? Yeah, exactly. The plane is playing at 7.35, not 7 o'clock. All right, mate, cheers, I'm pretty good. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, listen, I... <laughs> Sorry, mate. The tears are still flowing, but Sonia's going nowhere. <laughs> you need to be here at least 40 minutes I before. I know, that's not my fault. I explain you why. I yeah. went to the bird, then it didn't explain you that way. No, it was 6-1. I want to speak to someone else. I don't want to speak to him anymore. I, was, I, I, will, I will die for a French woman. I've decided. The accent is too much.
It is. Yeah, man. Sounds like Sarue. Don't start. I know. Well, Sarue is awesome. Leo's called one of his bosses to try and calm Sonia down. He will be down in about 15, 20 minutes. Oh, of course, 15, 20 minutes. But... And you're not ashamed to tell me this now? And there is a, a, a play. 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 The tears haven't worked and neither have the tantrums. Sonia's conceded defeat and transfers onto tomorrow's flight. He didn't want even to listen to me. He didn't, he didn't listen to me. He, he said that, okay, that what he has to say. I think sometime we have to do some exception. I told him that I have an appointment tomorrow to the hospital. He didn't give a Couldn't help her at all, did my best, been... gave her the option. She weren't having any of it. And I hope now she's in bed thinking, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> probably not. Probably got my picture up on a dartboard in a room or something. <laughs> Crazy. Ah, oh, you are too pure for this world, Leo. So for now, Leo braces himself for another showdown when Sonia returns tomorrow. Next up, Verity has arrived in Belfast too late to check into her flight to Scotland. Little did EasyJet know, her father is none other than the entitled younger brother of Liam Neeson himself. I feel like I'm running incredibly late for a flight and I have to get on a plane. It's going to Edinburgh at 11 o'clock. There's no way we can get you on that flight today, madam. The check-in's closed. There's nothing else can happen. No, I've been checking closed 15 minutes yeah, ago, no. so... It took me the wrong airport. Um, I mean, we could transfer you maybe to the Glasgow flight, if that's any good, at 14.45. Don't go on a fuck with Liam flight. Mason. There's a guy right there that you don't want to fuck with. No problem. While Verity Hi. may accept she's missed her flight, Wait. her dad has other ideas. Sorry, oh, excuse me, can I just interrupt a moment? My daughter has to go to Edinburgh in, in, in 10 minutes. You're saying she can't get on the... I feel like I just... I feel like I made... Dude, I feel bad about Hakeem Bud. He stopped talking after I laughed at his name. I'm sorry, man. Mr. Bud. Mr. Bud, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't know. He's such a good chatter, too. He's literally such a good chatter. And he said, nah, it's funny. And then he left, dude. I'm sorry, man. He said, no, nah, it's funny. And then he was like, he's just been thinking like, it wasn't funny. Like I've been made fun of my whole life for my last name. And now this fucking guy, this uh, Turkish guy is also making fun of me. I've subscribed to him for 17 months. I've created so, I've created a story in my mind where, I mean, I'm already the villain here, but like I made myself out to be an even bigger villain in my own eyes. I'm sorry, dude. Please come back, Hakeem. I mean the good chatters and I never wish to be. Look at him, he's such a cute chatter. Click the hot misgift link. <laughs> dude, he literally left, dude. I'm so sorry, man. Fuck. 
Wow, a chatter said, I guess he got tired of being the butt of the joke. That's fucked up, dude. I'm banning that chatter. I'm totally, I don't totally think that that's funny. That's really fucked up that you said that. Akeem! Liam, I, she's from Australia. I've just come from the, from the Belfast City Airport. I insist that she gets on the plane. If you insist. Spoilers! She can't get on the plane, sir. Is there sir. somebody else to speak to? You can speak to my supervisor. Where, where are they? Exactly the where same. are they? Jan 2, team leader Stuart. And they're saying we can't get on the bloody plane. The plane hasn't left the tarmac. No! Stop! He said, I'm here, Sag. Okay, dude. Come on, dude. No! You guys are making fun. You're making him sad, dude. Stop. We love you, man. You and chat to Hakeem. And yeah, we're pretty hot in that equation, so. How are you putting this on us? You called him Mr. Butt. You know what? I, yeah, this is the bullying that Jake Paul talked about last night. Yeah, I didn't learn my lesson. Jake Paul. Try to teach me a lesson about bullying and I didn't learn. I was typing and it wasn't working, Hostel. Okay, he's not sad. He's just joking. Okay, we're good. You guys are fucking bullies, dude. You guys didn't learn the lesson. Okay, let's keep going. That doesn't go on in any other airport in the world. Right. If you're there, they make sure they stop the plane until such times as you get on the plane. Okay, this guy definitely hasn't seen any of these clips either. Also, not sure if he's been to many airports if he thinks this is the case. Look, I, I just want to protest. My daughter's got a flight to Edinburgh. It leaves at 11. We got here at quarter two. We, we went to the city of appointment by mistake. Right. We've, we've done a million miles an hour to get here. Right. I insist that she gets on that flight. Didn't, so you realise you are 15 minutes late for the flight for the agreed time? Oh, that, I, I understand that. So you do agree whenever you book the flight, you, you know, you, you agree to turn up with the 30 minutes. Just let me finish for one second, please. This is not easy, no, Jet. This that, is hard, Jet. It's not at all, sir. I'm just making it clear. All, all was asking you to turn it's up hard, Jet. People love to play on this easy jet name, but as Jane said in part three, it yeah. is easy if you get well, here on time before here, the checking closes. We, we, it's, it's not, it's not a problem now. We, we, we didn't read the, read the fine print. Verity is needs to be on the plane. Somebody's waiting for. We just rushed from the city airport. We're both jet lagged. So what's the problem? The process to get you from here. I understand here. about the. Do you understand? I just, I just explained to you about our situation. Right. Do you ever make exceptions? Have you been to? A you know who I am. I'm Liam Neeson's fucking brother. I got a very specific set of skills. That's right. My brother once used to do race crimes. Andy admitted it later. Or wanted to do race crimes. That's right. Don't make me do race crimes like me, brother. Wasn't it Liam Neeson? <laughs> He's like... Back in the day, I almost did race crimes. <laughs> and then I stopped myself from doing the race crimes. I was very racist. I had a weapon specifically for beating. 